Hi, it's Sandra, and I want to show you the latest um, plates that I just bought from What's Up. And if you've never bought anything from What's Up, you need to go on there and look at their stuff. What's Up not only has their own plates, but they, um, stamping plates, but they also have plates from other manufacturers. And I've never had any problems with any of the plates. What's Up plates are excellent. I have no problems with those. And this is actually my first time trying CADs. So um, let's go through and let's look at these plates that I bought. And these CAD plates, they're small, but they're also reasonably priced. So the first one that I have is um, 045, Christmas 045. And I thought this was really cute. It had all the little images that you would want for Christmas. And um, it's nice and compact and they're small little plates. And you can see we've got um, some hearts and snowflakes here and some snowflakes here and some little um, like branches here. And we've got a little stocking here, a little ballerina here, some more snowflake stuff. And um, just a nice variety of Christmas and snow. And um, so you could use this for winter too. And this is kind of cool too to put around the edging of your nail. Got a little um, bow here and um, more snowflakes. So, oh, and here's some here. Very cute plate. And again, this is, let me zoom out of this so you can see the whole plate. Okay. So this is 045 and it's CADS, K-A-D-S. And I got this from What's Up. So there's the first one. And I'm going to take the cellophane off of here for you so you can see it. A little better. There you go. Very cool designs. I really like the snowflake one. Let's do um, a snowflake. Let's see how these stamp because, like I said, I've never used these cads. I've seen other people use them, um, talk about them, and I think they said that they were good plates. So let's try it see how they do all right so I'm gonna get a um, I'll get a blue so that it's you can see it all right so here's a good blue I'm gonna use Let's see what the how they stamp I love snowflakes I mean, I could probably go all winter long just with snow, snowflake nails and be totally happy. So um, snowflakes are definitely my thing. All right, so I got that on there. Give it a scrape. Very nice stamping. No problems with the stamp here. That's really pretty. That's a pretty little snowflake. Love it. So no problems with stamping, very nice plate. So I can say that I would recommend CADS. They definitely, their plates are etched well. Um, so much more better than some of them out there. All right, there we go. So again, that's Christmas 045. All right, let's see what else I got. So it's another CADS plates, and this is Christmas 021. And I thought these were really cute, these negative space. You got a deer, you got um, the snowflake, some trees, some bulbs. And then over here you got a church, and um, looks like a little bear with a snowman and a Santa. I thought that was a cool Santa and little beer tracks, little church here, little Christmas trees here. I thought that was really cute too. And that's Christmas 021. And again, I got this on What's Up, the What's Up site. Very cute. And I'll tell you, the reason I bought this, this plate, and it's always, you know, it's like the one image that really pushes you over the edge, 
is this little snowman. I think he is so adorable. I mean, look at him. I don't know what it is about him, but I think he's adorable. So that's really why I got the plate. But I do like all the other things on here as well. These are cool too. These would be very nice on a nail. Okay. And the last CADS plate that I purchased is this one. And this is CADS Christmas 022. And I thought this was cute because it has the um, this little reindeer. And here's the faces for the reindeer. And I love this reindeer, this short, small reindeer face. I like that. We got some a gingerbread. We got a snowman here. Um, and here's his head, so it comes in two pieces. Oh, and this reindeer does too. So here's the body of the reindeer, and there's his head. So you can just do the head or whatever you want to do. And this can go, so this would be, you you know, this is um, a solid color, so you could do this in white. And then you'd put this, this on top of here, and um, you'd have your full snowman. So we got a little reindeer here, and a, another Santa, and a um, little candy cane, and four uh, full nail designs, which I think are very cute. And look at the one with all the little animals here. Christmas tree is cute. Here's a little reindeer besides this deer. So I thought that was cute too. And again, that's 022. There you go. <laughs> that little reindeer body is cute for that big head. Okay, so that's CADS 022. And the last one I got is actually a Moyu of London. And this one is really cool. So if you go on their website, you'll see how they did the layers. But basically what they did is they did this in a color, and then they did this in a color, and then they put, uh, I think it was the tree on top of that. So it, sh it showed through, and this was a, uh, one of the colors. So what I want to do is actually do one of these for you, and I will do the tree. But look at how cute that is. You can do that with, you know, all of these images with the stars and, you know, you got a star, a window, a reindeer, holly, a tree, and a present. Very, very cool idea, I think. So let me take this off. And this is Noel Collection 27. And I will be giving this away in a giveaway, in a future giveaway. So I did buy two of these for a giveaway. So let's see how this works. Okay, so I've experimented with this. And um, I did do the snow the um, snowflake one, which is right here. And what I did was I put a light blue down as the base. Then I put um, the white snowflakes in. And then I put a dark blue stamping polish that I used for the window. And then I put some glitties which I got, I don't know where I got these. I think I got these on Amazon and I use that for a little sparkle in there. So that's um, the window one that you've seen. Now I'm going to show you, so that was this one and I just used the little snowflakes and the blue I used was a really light blue. It's called Bay Blue 459 and it's an extreme wear from Sally Hansen. And then I use just plain BAM white for the snowflakes. And then for the dark blue, I use Flotsam and it's B373. So those are the colors I used for the snowflakes. So now I'm going to show you how, to, how I did the tree. So I took, again, and I think the key to this is whatever you use for the base, that's what you want to use to um, stamp over it. So what I tried doing was like green for the base and then stamping over in red. And it just, you you could see right through the red. 
Now, if you got a more opaque stamping polish, like maybe from What's Up, you may be able to do that. But with the Maniology colors, you um, really need to stay within the same color so that it covers everything. Okay, so this, this one that I used for the base is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and this color is Limestone 620. So that's what I used for the screen. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do the um, plaid right here. And I'm going to do the plaid in blue. And they had this as an example on their website. So go on the website and look. I looked at it um, when I bought this plate, but I didn't actually, I haven't looked at it since. So I'm not sure what they did if this is accurate or not, but this is what I came up with. And I'm telling you with these, um, and you, all of you know this, if you're um, a stamper, you know that the biggest part of this is the colors that you pick because you want them to show up. Okay, so there is the blue. And then I'm gonna stamp this on here. And I'm gonna get as much as a solid in the middle as I can so it shows up well. Now, if I wanted to, if I was just doing a plaid nail, I could absolutely use this over top of it, but it doesn't show up well with the Christmas tree because the Christmas tree is just so tiny that um, it's not like you get a big um, uh, showing of that. Now, you know, actually, if I did the if I did the other part of this in white, it may show up well. So let's do that. Let's do. Let's. And I haven't tried this off camera, so we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to do white on here. Or, you know, silver would be cool, too. I don't, I have the white next to me. So I'm going to use silver. Or, I mean, white. I don't have silver. Um, I'm going to use the white here. On top of the plaid. Okay. Mm, see, we want something that'll show up on the tree. So I'm going to put this in the center because you're not going to see this on the sides anyway by the time we're done with the tree. Okay, so there is the white. So now you can see that really well with that so far. And it doesn't matter that it doesn't show up on here, that I didn't go all the way down because we're going to cover that up anyway. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plate again. And I'm going to do the Christmas tree. And we're going to do that Christmas tree right here in a dark green. And I'm using uh, Maniology Lily Pad B191. Because remember, my original base on this was green, only it was a light green. Okay, so we're going to take this. Let that sit for a couple seconds. When you do these very negative spaces, you want to Put the polish on thick. You want to let it sit for a couple seconds. You want to uh, swipe it very lightly. You want to pick it up very lightly. And then we're going to put it on this. Okay. So I'm going to line this up so you can see that hopefully the white and the, um, the other plaid part. There we go. So the white did come through good. I don't know if I like it per se, but it does make it show up better. I think it was better without the white when I originally did it off camera because the white really takes over. You know, you just don't see enough of that other um, plaid that it shows up well. So let's do that one more time, only let's do it with without the white. 
so I can show you the difference. But I think that's really how you want to do it is whatever color you use as a base coat. So use the base coat. I mean, you could probably do it. The, I wouldn't use it. I would use would do exactly what I did. I'd use a light color base coat of whatever color you want the top color to be. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use this light lily, this lily pad from Sally Hansen. Okay. But other than that, I think that's really cute. These are really cute. I've never seen anything like this before. So of course when I saw it, I had to get it. All right. And I love the snowflakes on this one. The way they stamp is really cool. They're cool. They're um, small enough that when you put them on your nail, you're not going to see just two snowflakes. You're going to see a whole bunch of them. So very cool. Okay, so let's do this again. We got the green. Let's do the dark blue plaid. Center this. Okay. And then let's take our dark green. And we're going to use this on the Christmas tree. Let that sit for a couple seconds. Scrape it lightly. We're going to stamp it lightly or pick it up lightly. And there's the image. And now we're going to stamp it on here. So there's your little Christmas tree. Now, what I could have done was actually done a lighter blue maybe um, for the plaid, and that would have shown up a little better probably. But um, the thing is with this is you really got to experiment with the colors, like I always say. So let me get some smudge free top going on here so you can see it better. And I'm going to use my glitties on these. And there you go. So this was plate, um, again, this was plate Noel Collection 27. And it was from What's Up. All the plates that I showed you are from What's Up. If you have not gotten a chance to go on their website, please go on there. You will find a lot of cool plates. And their stamping polishes are very good, very opaque. Um, give them a try if you have not used them. So there you go. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. <music>